Okay, just now I asked questions like, um, I asked questions like, um, how are you guys feeling today? Some of you, you answer the questions, all right? So it's good to know that everyone is feeling okay and perfectly fine, especially during PKP and also during this Ramadan, yeah? So in this uh, trying time, I hope that everyone is doing well, okay? Try to cope with the situation um, as good as possible. Uh, although, you know, the government is, uh, is uh, implementing uh, PKP, you know, uh, uh, pega uh, pergerakan kawalan, uh, but ber bersyarat or something, you know, beginning 4th of uh, May. Uh, that is tomorrow lah. So some of you, maybe you are requested to go back to work, okay? On my part also, I'm not really sure. We are still waiting instructions from UITM and also from the Kementerian Pengajian Tinggi. Whether lecturers or just perhaps the administrators, they need to go back to the office. Uh, so kalau saya, I have to go back, then I have to go back lah. Otherwise, I'll just stay at home lah, kan? All right? So kita, we accept this news with an open heart. Try not to be very cynical or try not to be very uh, ethnocentric try not to be you know very selfish thinking that uh, why the government uh, opens you know uh, or gives uh, basharat and all shouldn't we wait until 12 you know there are because um, the, i think it's my job I, my job is not to promote the government but my job is just to to teach you or to to guide you on how to understand and assess the situation i think it's very important because it's, it, it is very very much uh, related to the uh, course itself which is critical academic uh, reading yeah so your job is to be very critical and to accept the news with an open heart because there are two ends yeah um okay never mind so there are two ends of this um two ends of the situation you know we have like a group of people who are making ends meet every day yeah and and due to pkp you know um their means of finding um uh, uh, uh means to live yeah uh, has been cut off all right so the government is thinking that we as, as well i mean the government as a government they have to think this whole thing um as a whole not just to focus on kesihatan saja. They have to think as a whole because they are the government to government to govern the whole thing. So I guess my advice to all of you and including myself, yeah. Although the government has um, uh, or is going to implement the so-called PK PKPB, uh, okay, pergerak pergerakan kawalan something something uh, bersyarat. I know B is for bersyarat. Okay, that means we are still having this PKP, tapi bersyarat lah. That means you are, you are allowed to go out, uh, to go to, um, you know, places that are mentioned by the government. But of course, you have to adhere with all the SOPs, rules and regulations lah. So to my advice is, if let's say you have no reason to go out, then you don't go out. Simple as that. You know, you don't just simply go out just because you feel, uh, eh, saya bosan lah, I've been living in the house lah, apa lah, kan? Uh, so, you just go out. If you need be, then you go. Uh, tak ada, you stay at home. All right? Uh, try to put it that way lah. All right? Put it that way. Because I'm pretty sure we are all adults. Betul tak, kan? So, we can think this critically. Uh, so, if you find that you there is a need for you to go out, then you go out lah. Kalau tak ada, tak ada lah, eh. All right? So, Alhamdulillah, good to know that everyone is doing fine and okay. So, uh, just in a minute, I will share with you what I have planned out for our course. What are the changes in terms of assessment, yeah? Um, I think just a major change uh, when it comes to your test, uh, the other two assessments, written article analysis and forum remain. Okay, they both remain, uh, but the um, medium, uh, the mode that we are going to conduct those assessments will be um, a change. But uh, the content of the assessments, the other two, yeah, written article analysis as well as forum discussion, they remain the same. Yes, betul al Fatiha juga. Yeah, we just heard about it yet today, Ken. Uh, all right. Okay. All right. Okay. Let me just uh, use this present now. Yeah. So if you are unable to view the uh, whatever that I am about to show to you, do let me know. Yeah.
Okay, first, let me show to you the seminar schedule that I've made some changes, yeah? Okay. Now, let us look at this. Um, this is the seminar schedule. Basically, it's the same, but uh, I've changes, uh, sorry, I've made some changes in terms of the dates of our seminar. And also, I add, you know, uh, in bracket, whether it was a uh, uh, face-to-face or online. So, we met for the first time on the 15th of March, and it was face-to-face. -face. And beginning today, 3rd of May onwards, actually, dah start hari tu pun sebenarnya, cuma our seminar is a bit late lah. Uh, all seminars, classes for full-time, part-time students will be conducted online, yeah? So, as you can see here, seminar 3, Four, sorry, seminar number two, three, four, and five will be conducted. Uh, we will conduct the class online or the seminar online. Yeah. So when we first met, I have introduced the course. I have also explained about the assessments and I explained on the article analysis as well as the forum discussion. Okay, today I am going to re-explain again. So today is seminar number two. I'm going to re-explain again about the assessments and we are going to recap topics one, two, and three. Uh, the first topic I have uploaded the other day, second and third topic I have uploaded the lecture videos on YouTube, but I have not I have not shared the YouTube links or the YouTube videos on iDiscuss yet. Yeah, as I mentioned to you earlier, uh, our iClass is pretty congested, especially uh, weekends that we have these seminars. Yeah, okay. So uh, during seminar number three, what I plan to do is to do a recap on topics four until eight. Yeah, topics four until eight, and we'll do a bit of consultation for your WAA stands for uh, written article analysis, and FD is for forum discussion. Okay, okay, seminar number four, we will be uh, doing test. So test is still on, but it will be done online. And later in a while, I'll explain to you yeah about the test. Sir, you are sharing your screen because I don't see a screen from your side. A screen from my side. Are you able to see this uh, seminar schedule? Yes? No? Uh, kejap, yeah? How oh, come, yeah? Some say yes, some say no. Uh, banyak no daripada yes. Let me see. Okay, okay. Why some of you can see, some of you cannot? Hmm, I'm not really sure. Okay, uh, now I am going to, because I use this. Um, let me just stop presenting first. Okay. And then I present now. I use your entire screen. I choose this one, share. Okay, just a minute. Okay, now can you see the screen? Okay, all right. Can you see this uh, seminar schedule? Yes, yeah? Now only can. Okay, all right, all right. Maybe because I uh, did not pin the um, the presentation. Eh? I just did that just now. All right. Okay, now that everyone can view that, that will be good. All right. So let me re-explain again, yeah? Mau sekali lagi dan explain ni. Belum puasa ni. Tak apalah, demi anak bangsa. Okay, let us, uh, let us look at this seminar. So basically, this is the schedule lah. And I've not shared this. As I told you just now, you know, it's a bit congested. So I need to, when, whenever I upload things, you know, um, the URL ataupun the website got frozen and I have to refresh and then it will go back uh, to the, you know, to the part that I, before the upload. Uh, so, uh, I have to redo and redo again, so it will take a while lah. So, hopefully by tonight or after Buka Puasa, inshallah, uh, people will no longer be using the um, iClass, then I have more time to upload this and update to you guys via WhatsApp. Don't worry, yeah. Okay, um, 
we have met 15 March hari tu, so that is done. So today I am going to explain or re-explain about the assessments, especially your test, yeah. And then uh, seminar number three in two weeks time, uh, we are going to recap the lecture, the topics. We'll do a big consultation for. Actually, this is not consultation. The consultation will be done online as in for every. Every week, there will be this one part that I will uh, assign you to do so that that will be the progress of your um, uh, written article analysis and FD means forum discussion. So you have to add here that, yeah? Uh, okay. Uh, but then again, of course, uh, during our so-called, um, like today's seminar, I will just ask you in general, do you have any questions to ask about your written article analysis, uh, about your forum discussion, so on and so forth, yeah? So seminar number four, we will be doing test. Okay, so your test will be done online since your class starts at two. So the, the test will start at two lah. Okay, so make sure that you join our seminar exactly at two so that you can do the test. Yeah, and then um, during our last seminar, which is on the twenty first of June, um, we will you will be doing your forum discussion. Okay. This one also I will explain to you later on and you'll be submitting your portfolio for your forum discussion and you will submit your written article analysis not on the 21st of June but on the 28th of June. And yes, as you can see here, the portfolio will be submitted via Google Drive. I will share the link later, not today. And the written article analysis you will upload via iClass and later I will explain to you why. Yeah. So this is basically what I have planned out for your seminar uh, from seminar two onwards until seminar number five. Also, um, uh, let me share with you this here. Remember just now when I told you why I cannot upload all or share the link or embed the links uh, of all my YouTube videos on iDiscuss? Okay, because apparently every week we have to post. So uh, that is why I have to wait for that particular week for me to upload the videos. All right. So let's just assume that uploading on I discuss will be just part of formality. But of course, if you have questions, you um, just need to ask. You can just use I discuss to ask the questions. Otherwise, uh, whenever I upload something or whenever whenever I post something on I discuss, the least that you can do is just to uh respond by uh noted sir thank you sir just to show your participation on i discuss yeah because um i discuss you know can be quite congested at certain times eh? especially during weekends when we have uh seminars and since we have two sessions session one session two almost every week uh, or every weekend uh you know uh the the i class will be congested so basically this is what i have um uh, decided to do or uh, the topics that I've decided to upload. So, for example, from the 27 up until today, two topics, okay, made, uh, topic two, topic three, next week, uh, topic four and five, so on and so forth, yeah. Uh, so, so that's why, that's why, that is why you can see here, every week there will be new topics. But the videos or the lecture videos will be done earlier. So, and will be uploaded on YouTube earlier. So, should you need to, to, to watch the videos, you can just go to my YouTube channel, okay? You do not need to wait until each, because, you know, some students, they have covered top, topic two and three, they want to, you know, they have free time, they want to learn topic four and five, but to wait until next week or to learn about topic six and seven, for example, to wait until week, uh, uh, ni, on the fifth of, sorry, on the 11th of May or until 17th, lama. So you can just straight away go to my YouTube channel to view the lecture videos. But if you need to refer to the lecture notes, basically the slides lah, that I have converted into PDF format, you can just go to iClass. I have uploaded all. Where to go, you go to... Um, notes and materials, yeah? So you go to notes and materials. Uh, it will be a bit lagging, yeah? because of the internet connection. So I've uploaded the cut notes and material section. There's this, uh, there. There's this um, uh, one folder, lecture notes. So you can just go to lecture notes. So lecture notes, I have uploaded all eight topics. But then again, you know, some students, when they read the lecture notes, perhaps they need someone to explain about the lecture. So that is where my lecture videos come in 
handy so you can actually use uh, the lecture videos for you to listen to the explanation but if you were to only rely on i discuss then you have to wait you know every week for me to upload accordingly like what is stated here lah but you can always refer to my youtube video uh, youtube channel where those videos or lecture videos will be uploaded earlier okay all right kalau you tak tahu then you just simply type uh, you know uh, um, because every topic here like in this case uh, lecture notes ni if you go to my lecture notes uh, there okay so we ha i have already included all the topic lah and this is the same topic of the same uh, the name of uh, for the lecture videos so you just search for this the the if let's say you go to my youtube channel you search for this uh, then it's the same the same name that i have included for the lecture videos shouldn't be a problem and then you just watch the lecture videos okay so any questions so far about the materials lecture video like notes and all Any question? If no question, then I assume uh, we are good to go for me to explain on the assessments, yeah? If you have questions, because, you know, because I'm using this, I am using uh, uh, presentation, ni, so maybe I will miss your question in the chat box. Ni. You can always ask using your, um, you know, your mic eh, just to stop me. Don't wait until the end because I might forget things that I've said. Yeah. Okay. I have presented this before, remember, during our first time when we meet face to face. So I have also explained about the assessments and all. Okay. So for the test, ni, I have come up with another uh, apa ni, um, um, slide. Uh, so there will be like three separated slides explaining about all three assessments, but they are all meant for the normal ones, not during PKP or PDPC ni, or online classes. So this is the part that I'm going to explain to you. Okay, now let us talk about the test. Mm, okay, okay, let us talk about the test. Oh, just so hold on. Right, try not to use this, yeah because it has voice in it okay assessments uh, test Okay, I'll just use this PDF, yeah, much easier. All right, okay, so for your test, 35%, there will be one reading passage, there will be 12 questions, and the questions um, are basically based on all topics, topic number one up until topic number eight, there will be in a form of MCQs, there will be in a form of short answers, true and false, match questions with answers, so on and so forth. Your test is meant for two hours, and please bring along your English, English dictionaries, yeah? Okay, this is in general, okay, in general. but during uh since we are going to conduct the test online so how will it be now your test will be conducted online as such that the questions as well as the passage will be converted into google forms okay so the questions as well as the um the reading passage will be converted into google forms and then i will share you the link and then of course you need to you know key in your student id your email so on and so forth you can only respond to once so bear bear with me yeah if let's say you have click sent even before you you know or you have clicked submitted even before you have completed the test we'll just consider that you you are done with the test you know you cannot redo the test yeah okay um 
once we uh, uh if I'm, if you are not really i think by now everyone is very familiar with google forms where you can just uh you say there are also questions for long answers and answers you don't worry okay mm, questions girl even if we are having test online do we still need english english dictionary yes you still need your english english dictionary with you all right okay because there are questions on that yeah okay you will answer within the two hours so we'll start the online test how uh we are not going to use google meet of course i'm going to share you the link the card uh whatsapp group and then um you just click on that link basically it's just a link of a google form japan and then you have to key in of course your email because uh, it has to be a one-time test yeah and then one submission sahaja per email so you submit uh, you write down your name and all lah semua semua tu there will be passage one reading passage and then there will be uh you know um uh one reading passage and also followed by a few questions lah. and each question too if it is mcq you choose if it is you know uh, uh for you to fill in the blanks and you choose the you know you type in uh, if short answers you need to type okay so my advice is please use your laptop in order for you to answer the question question sorry uh, to answer the, those questions but then again you know sometimes um, maybe you're working the only thing that you have with you is your phone not to worry google form is also uh, mobile friendly okay but then again you know your uh, uh, keyboard will be very small lah. all right okay but there will be no um, uh, questions that require long answers you know no they, uh, normally they are all short answers short questions and i will show to you uh, the sample of the question but we're not going to go through the sample and that sample will be uploaded also on iclass not to worry everything that i have with me will be uploaded and will be shared to all of you you can access okay because those are samples we're not going to use those those samples all right for actual test okay so now you understand the mode for our online test so you may have questions like you know uh, before i move on with the third point yeah you may have questions like hey kita boleh buat online test ni boleh tiru ke um i don't know how to say you know uh, uh well um we are not going to have the test um during ramadan of course it will be after ramadan so if i want to use uh, that to scare you off yeah you know this is ramadan you cannot cheat but let us let us look on another level you know all of you are adults you know you have to be that's why i put somewhere below here yeah um you have to be honest when answering the test i i I don't know if let's say you don't really know for example there are questions that ask you um what is the topic sentence and you don't really know what topic sentence is and how can i know whether you are going to refer to my notes or not uh, but if you want to refer to the note in order for you just to get to know what is as actually a topic sentence so that you will be able to identify the topic sentence in the test uh, in the in the passage then that is okay but what i'm not okay is you know maybe you have some other groups um you know unofficial group whatsapp group and in that groups you share your answers with your friends maybe some of you might ask hey what about question number three eh? what do you think is the answer i think um let's keep this test personal that means uh, it's between you and the test okay don't share answers with your friends although you feel you're helping them out there are two Mm, implications here what if your answer is wrong then everyone else will be getting the answer wrong yeah and number two is you think you are helping your friends although the answer is correct you think you are helping your friends but then there will be no one stand out you know uh, so don't share answers with your friends be very truthful and i will treat all of you like adults therefore i put the trust in you okay so on that part on that that so-called moral high ground and uh, ethics i leave it to all of you i'm i have good faith that all of you are doing are going to 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 carry out these tests accordingly yeah okay so question so far about the uh about the the moral part and how are we going to conduct the test any question Uh, 
Okay. So, um, faham eh that part, yeah? Try not to lah. Okay, try not to. But then again, I can never stop you because I wouldn't dare to administer you. You're at home, you know, and then how can I know whether you are sharing the answers with your friends ke tidak ke? So, the moral part, you know, the ethics part, tu semua tu, I leave it to you guys lah. If let's say you still want to proceed with that, then that is between you and Allah. There's nothing, I, I cannot stand in between because I can only, you know, uh, monitor, I can only control at like, certain extent, but beyond than that that is just you and god okay i'm not trying to scare you you know but that is just between you and god yeah okay so that is how we are going to conduct the test lah. that means we're going to use google forms okay later i will share with you uh, some of the questions a sample sample of a question and answers and also uh let us go back to the third point yeah this is the third point that i would like to it's not vocan yeah i'm totally sorry it's vocab vocabulary um the first topic all right uh, a topic uh b topic is the second topic inferencing is topic number that uh, drawing other making inferences and drawing conclusions i cannot remember with topic number five implied mean idea upon other types of reasoning and underlying assumptions yeah so these are the topics okay let's see if these topics although i say that all eight topics will be covered in your um, test but that is entirely up to uh, because it's a test there are too many topics we cannot be questioning or we cannot be testing all topics and i don't really know um, what they plan to test this semester that depends on the resource person and the team members here yeah? so uh, all i can say here is if let's say uh, there are eight topics uh, they can either test all of you on all topics or they can simply choose choose few topics to be tested that is entirely up entirely up to them and also uh above all these eight topics these are the few topics like vocabulary topic inferencing implied mean idea types of reasoning and underlying assumptions um if there are questions regarding uh, or in relation to this topic or questions on this topic you are required to provide evidence from the passage okay you will be required to provide evidence from the passage for example if this if let's say they said okay what is the meaning of the 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 bold face word contohnya lah okay let's say the word i give an example the word topics what is the meaning of the word topics as it is used in the text so you refer to the text okay uh, for you to understand this part you have to refer to my topic number one notes yeah so you dah tahu lah jawapan dia so you write down the answer and below that answer there will be two spaces where you are required to key in evidence so you must be able to locate at least two evidence here yeah, for you to support your answer and where to get the evidence is from the passage itself they are like clues you know so later when i share you the the sample then perhaps you will get better understanding so evidence questions that require you to support the answer with evidence are just based on this topic sahaja not all eight topics it's just on this topic some of this topic they come from the same main topic all right okay so that is the only difference lah. that is the only difference now let me share you uh, the sample of the questions yeah so i'll just show to you the sample of the question paper so basically this is the question paper okay just one reading passage and this one will be shared on on i i class don't worry i'll upload on i class yeah so just one long passage like this about you know uh three 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 quarter and uh, not, not three quarter three one quarter of page lah. okay and then followed by questions okay so this is the part yang i mentioned to you just now the meaning of the word shuffling in line five so you go to line five okay this is line five numbers on this side indicators of line numbers the roman numbers on this side they are indicators of uh, paragraph yeah so this is line number five this is the word shuffling jari sao even the word has been bold face you, you can easily identify this word so what is the meaning of this word now if you refer to my 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 lecture we are not asking the long definition basically we just want to want you to give another word 
that has the same meaning with the word shuffling. And how to find that another word, you have, of course, you have to refer to my uh, topic number one lecture. There are a few steps that you have to follow. Okay. So let's say you already found the word, um, another word that best uh, represents the word shuffling here lah, or has similar meaning with the word shuffling here. So you write down the answer here. Okay. But of course, because this is dalam form, dalam bentuk word document lah. Okay, I don't really have, because lecturers are given the liberty to choose the mode for them to give these questions papers to the students. So mine will be using Google Forms because it will be much easier, you know, it will be much easier. Even if let's say you are working ke, and then you still have to answer these questions, you can just use your phone. But imagine if I were to share you the word document, that means you because you are going to answer uh, during seminar number four from two o'clock until four o'clock, not later than that. That is why I need you to use Google Form because the submission of the answers nanti kat situ ada tari. So I know who submit late and whatnot. Okay, who submit after four o'clock, I can know that from there. So that is why I need to use Google Forms. And also, if because it's a test, can so we are not going to have like a face to face online much of me. So what you do is you just answer wherever you are. If let's say you're working on that day ke, or you're out buying groceries, couple ke, you can just stop for a while just to answer the questions. But of course, the test is for two hours. Lah. Don't go out before buying groceries during your test. Lah. Otherwise, until you know you bercelaru sedikit nak beli barang lah nak jawab test but we can never know we can never know yeah so if let's say i share with you the google forms you can just use your phones you can even use your laptop and your desktop to answer the questions okay but this one is dalam bentuk word document lah so you write down the answers and then you need to provide evidence number one and evidence number two and evidence number one and two they need to be taken from the passage itself that tells you these are the clues that tell me that, that that tell me that the the answer is that answer and let, let us check because they also give you know answer key so let us look at the sample of answers given here yeah okay so given the answer is dragging evidence sweeps her finger across so where to get this sweeps her finger across let us go back to the passage. So, um, that can you see? Sweep the fin her fingers across. That is your first clue for you to 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 tell to tell you that that is how I I find the word dragging. Though. Okay, okay, because uh, you know sweeps her finger across is dragging. All right, and then second is groups of icons. Okay, there groups of icons. All right. Okay, so those are your two, your two um, evidence. Now you may ask, you may have questions. Uh, let me check. Kalau you have the questions, other questions so far, so far there. Now you may, you may have this in mind. <coughs> Sorry. You may have this in mind, Mister E. Um, okay, let's see. I am able to find the word dragging. This is the word lah, by using the steps that you have taught us uh, in the lecture video and the lecture notes and also by referring to the dictionary. So I have this word dragging. Then I get one mark. But what if, let's say, the evidence I am wrong? Because, you know, since you mentioned that the evidence must be taken from the text, maybe I've given, for example, lah, uh, the answer here says that uh, sweeps her fingers across, but uh, I, wrote, I write the answers, a one-year-old sweeps her finger across cross as the first evidence because you know it's very subjective can so how can i know whether am i going to get this right ke tidak? number one you have to understand is evidence so evidence is very subjective in fact when i look at the answers of the questions later on don't worry whenever there's a test my job as a lecturer is when i get the question paper from the resource person i will go through the questions and i will go through the answers as well so when it comes to evidence other than looking at this as the answer, uh, as the first evidence, I will also try to scan if there is any other evidence. Kalau ada, then, you know, I'll just put in as well the possibilities of you using that as an evidence instead of this one. Kalau if it is a, uh, kata, uh, uh, apa ni, a definite punya evidence, memang it's a clear cut. There's no way, tak ada evidence lain tu sahaja, then I'll just maintain with that lah. And hopefully you're able to use that as well. Okay, that is number one. Number two, 
um, you know, let's say the answer sweeps her finger across, you tulis a one-year-old girl. We can still, st I can still accept this as evidence. But what I cannot accept is, you pergi copy semua ni as evidence. Ah, tak boleh lah. Might as well just copy the whole passage, betul tak? Ah, that is wrong. That part is wrong, yeah? Ah, because you copy like the whole thing and then you cakap evidence. Ini you, you macam kata, ah, ada rezeki, ada lah tu. Tak boleh macam tu. You must be able to identify specific evidence. Okay, that is number two. Number three, don't worry too much about your evidence. Because you tengok dekat sini. The marks allocated for your evidence half sahaja, okay? But because this is something new, this is not in our lecture, yeah? This is something new that I just received from the resource person, the changes that they're making for the questions, you know? So basically, this is new and you are the first batch to actually uh, to be employed by this new method. So uh, this is me explaining to you. So the third one, don't worry too much because it's half of a mark. But in general, if let's say this is the word, or this is the answer, if let's say nanti ada questions lain yang requires evidence as well, and you are able to identify the answers, normally evidence is somewhere around it. Don't go too far. You have the word shuffling here, you go and find the evidence somewhere here. I think, pelik lah kot. Uh, this is the evidence, contoh. I give an example. But the word is here. How is this? It's the evidence. So it's illogical. Uh, so this is also the second part, eh, sorry, the, uh, the, 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 the last part, yeah? part number four that you may want to consider where to locate your evidence. So in mind, if let's say here is the answer, your evidence should be somewhere around here sahajalah. Don't go more than that. Yeah? Uh, macam kita ni PKP ni, not more than 10 km radius. Uh, macam tu lah, lebih kurang around this radius sahaja. Don't go beyond than that. Yeah? All right? So I repeat once again about the evidence. But not all questions will be tested with evidence, yeah? Not all questions, yeah? So if let's say this is the answer or this is the part that you have to find the answer, they ask or they require you to, su to support or to provide evidence, normally the evidence will be somewhere around here. Don't go beyond than that. So just now I heard pink ke ada soalan. Let me see. We can use English to English dictionary, yes. Yes, Alia, you can use. Of course, you have to use. What's the point of asking, uh, bringing the dictionary? But uh, we are not asking you the definition, yeah? Because if you open up the dictionary, they will just give you definition, not the words. Thesaurus tak boleh. I have explained that in the lecture lecture videos. Thesaurus, you know thesaurus? Where you have the word and then suggested words that may have similar meaning. Tak boleh. Okay, because sometimes different contexts the word can bring different meaning. I give you an example, yeah? If I give you the word bank, what do you understand about the word bank? Uh, a lot of you may say that the word bank is financial institution, kan? But a bank can also be a river bank. Tebing. Tebing sungai. A river bank. Okay? So one word can bring a lot of meanings. So thesaurus, they don't give you the explanation or the long definition. They just give you what are the words that can be substituted substituted so when you have those words you don't know the meaning you don't know the context how to use those words that that is why we don't allow it okay thesaurus english english bm or english bm bm english dictionary not allowed only english english dictionary saja this is an english class this is not a translation class but then again how can i know you know you're doing this on your own if i say english english phone Kalau you kat rumah ada English-English BM pun, hanya you je yang tahu, Allah je yang tahu. Saya tak tahu. Okay? Uh, tapi kalau betul lah data ada pun, you know, there's no uh, uh, other available dictionary. Uh, you you don't want to go out to buy new dictionary because uh, you still want to maintain your PKP, you want to stay at home. The only thing that you have with you is your English-English BM, for example. Then use it lah. Nak buat macam mana? Something is better than nothing at all, right? Okay, Mr. E, English to English Dictionary, tapi dia mini dictionary boleh, tak kisah. Mini ke, yang besar ke, boleh. Electronic, we don't allow. Online pun kita tak allow. But then again, you know, you're doing this on your own, kan? Kalau you buka juga online, how can I know? Betul tak? What is even worse, ada juga yang tengok buka Google je. Other word than shuffling. Ha, macam tu. Tengok direct je, dia dah malas dah agak kot. 
tak apalah that one as i said to you i can just you know monitor to certain extent beyond than that i leave it to you guys that is your integrity that is how you deal with it that is entirely up to you and it's very subjective and i'm not being judgmental here okay Okay, I'm not being very judgmental here because I don't know. There's no, you know, evidence for me to accuse you ke apa ke tak ada. So, don't worry on that part, yeah? Okay? Uh, but try to be very ethical when you are when you, when you are answering the question nanti later on. Tu sahaja. Okay? Alright. So, this is the first questions. There are a few other questions that requires also evidence. Uh, macam stated mean idea tak ada. Meja tak ada. Uh, this one ada. Contohnya like this. Eh? Formulate the topic that is most suitable for the content of paragraph number. This is 5 plus 1, 6 plus 1, 7. So, kalau tak tahu, buat macam tu lah. 5 plus 1 plus tak ada. You tengok balik. Ada V11. Cari. Go and locate V11. So, you have this one. Okay. V1 and 1. This is the, this is the pa paragraph. For all of this paragraph, uh, this whole paragraph, they ask you to identify the topic, the implied topic. This is the question, yeah? All right. Formulate the topic that is most suitable. What is the topic that is most suitable? So, write down the topic. In order for you to answer this, you have to refer to uh, lecture notes and lecture videos, topic number two. Determining the topic, determining the topic sentence and determining the uh, apa ni, implied mean idea, all right, of, of uh, paragraph and passage. So you write down the topic and you find evidence. Again, evidence has to be from only this paragraph je lah. Don't go beyond than that lah. The evidence should be somewhere here, okay? That tells you this is why you say that this is the topic for this paragraph sahaja. So, tadi ada pasal topik and also uh, questions about um, inference, inference or inferential questions also require you to write down evidence. Again, as you can see here, okay, half mark, half mark. But it would be nice if you can score the answer together with the evidence, yeah? Uh, it would be nice. Now, you may also want to ask, Mr. E, what happens if, let's say, the answer is wrong, but the evidence is correct pula? Macam mana tu? I think if the evidence is correct, I don't think that your answer is entirely wrong. Like zero. No, not necessarily. For example, they ask you to make an inference of this statement and then you, ha you have written down your answer. And then let's say, based on my marking, I think you um, two marks is not suitable because there are a few parts that are still lacking. Instead of giving you two marks, I give you one mark. However, your answer, sorry, your evidence is correct. So will you, will you still be getting full mark for your evidence? Yes. So to me, my understanding is if your evidence is correct, it's impossible for you to get zero for your answer. The least is at least half or one. Okay. But in any special uh, cases, you know, sometimes that happens also. Jawapan memang salah totally wrong tapi evidence because evidence is for you to identify from the passage can so memang rezeki you, you identify the exact evidence that we want or that is written in the answer key so you write down for evidence one and evidence two nak jadikan cerita lah tapi answer memang totally wrong so what will happen to the evidence if let's say the answer is zero will you still be getting half mark half mark no you will not be getting half mark we will still consider evidence as wrong because the answer is wrong so, meaning to say, our interpretation of this is you main tikam-tikam je lah ni. Ah, tu je. Get it eh? Faham eh? Question so far? Okay, faham. Good. Yang lain, I hope you faham. Walaupun you tengah mendengar sambil tengah prepare juadah berbuka, ada tengah masak kuih, I don't know. Uh, dia tengah menumbuk. Kan hari tu went viral on YouTube, eh sorry, on Twitter. Students tengah menumbuk sambil mendengar lecture. That is my student tau. Uh, dia tengah menumbuk sebab apparently the mother is working and nanti mak dia balik, dia nak kena sediakan uh, makanan untuk mak dia. Uh, to to my, my students too. Tapi tak apa, it's okay. I'm all okay. Don't worry. You know, don't worry. If you're doing something else, as long as you're listening, or, ada yang tak dengar pun, dia mute, lepas tu dia pergi buat benda lain, dia kata tak apa, Mr. E kata record. Nanti Mr. E upload, nanti kita boleh tengok balik. Pun tak apa. It's all you. That's why this, this is the flexibility of online learning. Okay, because we do understand you have some other things to do. 
All right. But those who are listening, if you have questions, just ask. Okay. What if one of the evidence saja betul? Then you'll get only one saja lah. The other one tu you tak dapat. You dapat half mark. Tapi provided that the answer that you provide, walaupun you tak dapat marka penuh, but there are marks for your answer. Okay. Macam tadi, for example lah, let me share you this. That, tunjuk balik yang ni. Sorry, not this one. Uh, the question, yeah. Like in this case, marka dia dua. So you get one mark. And then evidence pula, just one betul, one salah. Yang betul tu dapat lah. Yang salah, wrong. Okay. But for questions like this one, um, topic ni tak kot. Um, I think um, like this case, yeah. Because this one like uh, finding the meaning ni, if let's say you get the wrong word, memang word tu is wrong, is not the same, it does not share the same meaning with the word shuffling at all. There's no such thing of you getting half mark, trust me. So this is either you get one mark or zero mark. Simple as that, yeah? But what if the evidence is correct? If let's say you get zero for this question, evidence both are correct, still zero. Uh, so it's a waste lah. It's a waste. That, that is why try your very best to answer this. Listen to my lecture videos. Try to understand my lecture videos. Also, I will provide you with some exercises. I have all exercises for all topics, not to worry. Not all lah, until topic number six, I'm not mistaken. Seven and eight, I don't have exercises because they are, actually, we use seven and eight more on written article analysis and also the uh, forum discussion, okay? Uh, but one until six, yes, I have exercises. But then, you know, of course, na upload dekat iClass and it will take time lah. I'll try to get everything done by tonight so that lepas ni, uh, the only thing that I need to update is the progress and also to look at the uh, apa ni? to look at the um, to do online online uh, discussion uh, stuff like that yeah no more lagi uploading uploading all right okay question so far about this uh, um, I think so if you don't mind share this video recording yeah yeah recording of this video I will upload on YouTube also. Okay, so those who miss this, you can just refer to the YouTube video. Okay, say upload. I will not share the video because it will be very heavy, trust me. I will upload on YouTube, share you the link. Uh, much easier that way so that you can also view. Kat mana-mana you boleh view. While waiting for the bus, the train, while doing social distancing, while doing some groceries, you can still, you know, view. Yeah, okay. All right. So no more question. So basically, this is how your test is going to be. Lah. But not all questions require evidence. Yeah? Like you see in this case, stated when idea, no, no evidence. Tak ada pun, dia tak minta. Okay, and how to know which topic that requires um, evidence. Uh, as I mentioned to you, this is the one. Okay, this is the topic. Not vocab, eh? vocab, sorry. Vocab. Vocab means finding meaning lah. Vocab, topic, inferencing, implied mean, idea, types of reason. These are only the topics that will be required. And I'm not saying that all of this will be in your test. No. Topic 1 until topic 8, my job is just to teach you, to lecture you so that you understand. But whatever that will appear in your test, that is entirely up to the um, resource person and those who set the test. Okay, but of course, the questions will be based on the topics. But whether you want to cover all topics or just focus on a few topics, itu saya tak tahu. I'm not part of the team, so I cannot let you know. All right? Tapi we can never know lah. Let's say in times to come, tiba-tiba dapat pula epiphany, ya. Yeah? Uh, wahyu. All right? Tiba-tiba ada lah, you know, dengar desas desus. Okay? People say that these are the topics will that will uh, come out. If I find those sources reliable, then I'll let you know so that you can just focus on that. But make sure you have covered all topics. Jangan just focus on that topic sahaja. Because kalau let's say those are not true uh, news ke, apa ke, sources ke, uh, you rugi. Eh? Okay. Tadi dengar bunyi ping. Soalan kah? Okay, thank you. All right. No question so far, yeah? About your test? All right. No question about your test. So I'll stop here. Whatever documents that I have with me, uh, no, I'm not stop. I'm not going to spot, uh, so stop this lecture. We can stop the about the discussion on the test. Yeah, okay. Um, I just want to proceed with the uh, other assessment just to explain a bit about it. Yeah, okay. Okay, for your written article analysis, remember I asked you to find pair. So it's a pair work. Yeah. So if let's say 
you know, you don't have a pair. Uh, nanti later, I will create a list dekat I discuss nanti where you need to up- update your name, your partner's name and the article that you have chosen. I am still in the midst of uploading articles dekat I class. So, bear with me. Uh, once those articles dah siap, uh, dah available, then I'll inform you whatever that is available for you to choose. Uh, I think I've explained about this before. Um, one pair choose one article saja and cannot be the same. All right, so this is first come, first serve basis. So once you have chosen the article, of course, you have to do the analysis lah, you with your partner. Now, if let's say the number of students in this class is not even, let's say kita ada 41, 43. So one of you will be doing it individually. One, yeah? I don't want to. I don't want you to, to think that doing it in, individually is an option. No. Uh, it, this is just to cope with the fact that the, num- the number of students is not even in our class. Itu sahaja. So that means if you have 41, there should be like 20 pairs plus one. Macam tu. Okay. Bukannya um, uh, everyone else can also have the uh, liberty to do it uh, in pa- uh, sorry uh, individually. Now given the circumstance, you know, some of you are staying very far in the northern, south from your southern line and you don't want. Don't worry. We still have Google Meet, you know, WhatsApp message. You can always use that platform to discuss with your partner in order for you to complete this written article analysis. For written article analysis, tak ada apa-apa perubahan. Everything remains the same except that the mode of submitting this. So, I have mentioned just now, dekat dalam you punya, you know, in your um, uh, seminar schedule tadi kan. Oh, sorry. Dah buka dah pun. Lupa pula. Uh, this one. Okay. You are going to submit via iClass. Why? Why iClass, your written article analysis? Because I think by 28 of June to um, the traffic will not be really that high. So, you are able to upload. But not necessarily you need to upload by 28th of June. You can upload earlier if you want to. If let's say you are done, then you upload. Okay? All right. Nanti I will create dekat mana, I will inform you lah dekat mana dekat iClass for you to upload your article analysis tersebut. So, this one you can start. Tapi wait until the articles, uh, all articles have been uploaded so that you can choose. And also, maybe from today, you can already go and find partner. I think hari tu pun saya dah cakap tapi because of this PKT, some of you mungkin terlupa dan sebagainya. So again, I would like to remind of all of you to go and find a partner for you to start doing this written article analysis. Because this one, tahu-tahu saja nanti on the 28th of June, you just need to upload and submit to me. And late submission, of course, will result in uh, marks penalization lah eh. Okay. And how to go about this? written article analysis, you can refer to this slide. This slide is already available dekat I discuss. You can refer to this slide. And also, I have created a lecture uh, video, not a lecture video, like more like a tutorial video explaining about this article analysis, your forum discussion, so on. Once those videos have been uploaded on YouTube, I'll share on I discuss as well. You can refer to those, yeah, just in case you need to recap on how to go about it. All right. So, only the mode of submitting saja or the mode of submission, the article is different. So, instead of submitting to me the hard copy, this time you are going to submit the soft copy. Okay, the soft copy. But what to be submitted remains the same, yeah? Uh, you must refer to this one. You see a front cover, a copy of the articles. And you notice that the articles are in a form of um, a PDF. Okay, PDF. So, how to to gather all the things because kalau if let's say hard copy you can print them out staple and submit to me tapi kalau soft copy how are you going to compile all that uh, that one too I leave it to your creativity lah uh, you buat lah macam mana you can just uh, change the PDF into a form of uh, JPEG ke dalam bentuk gambar and then paste it dekat dalam you punya word document followed by your written t- article analysis of course you dah ada front page dah siap-siap and save the whole thing dalam satu document dulu and then lepas tu submit to me don't submit to me uh, don't do not submit to me in pdf format submit to me in microsoft word document okay so that when i want to give or when i want to check or when i want to give uh, to assess ke to give comments ke i can just do it online All right, I can just do it online. Okay. And forum discussion, uh, this is also another thing I've already explained to you. Um, it's a forum. You're going to conduct a forum. Uh, consists uh, what, a group of six. That means one group consists of six people. Kalau, let's say, I don't know how. Um, 
uh, I can also give you, if let's say I put it here, yeah, if the number is not even five per group pun boleh. So minimum is five, maximum is six. Tak ada four, three, two, tak ada, yeah. Maximum is six, minimum is five, yeah. So let's say after you have formed this and then other few students, maybe they need commerce ke, tak update ke, apa ke. Sir, I'm not in any group. So I will ask this whoever that is left to join the group of five too to form group of six, yeah. They cannot, let's see, yang tinggal tu tiga, tiga, dia buat satu group of three, tak boleh. Because minimum is five, maximum is six, yeah. Okay, so you're going to present during seminar number five. So how are you going to present during seminar number five? Uh, that one until later when we are approaching seminar number five, I will inform you how. Yeah, since we are doing this online, of course, we are going to use Google Meet. So everyone is familiar dengan Google Meet ni, shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so when you are presenting, I will listen. It's just a forum, you know. Someone will be the moderator or the mediator, the rest will be the panelists. Okay, although you are at different places, tapi you imagine lah all of you are gathered around in a space, in a place, and you are doing or conducting the so-called forum, yeah. So uh, this also I'm telling you uh, apa ni, in advance so that you can prepare all the uh, necessary equipments lah, especially your internet ke, your whatever, yeah. And then, will there be any audience? By right, kalau kita buat dalam kelas, there will be audience. But for Google online ni, tak payahlah. Just me, I'm, I'll be the only audience, okay? I'll be the only audience for you guys. And then, uh, there will be Q&A. I will ask one question. Maybe I'll pick anyone at random or I'll just throw the question in. Anyone can answer just to, you know, to give you marks for the Q&A session to sahaja. Okay, and how to go about your forum discussion tu pun I already explained the other day when we first met and there also another um, lecture video or uh, tutorial video explaining on it, yeah? So you can refer to the video as well on how to go about. So the mode is different. The mode of conducting this forum discussion is via Google Meet because I think Google Meet is the easiest way for us to, to conduct this so-called forum. So you once you are done, uh, then you can just go then the next the next group will come in and then the next group will come in okay and i will announce lah so the second group nanti i will just say okay stand by contohnya dalam whatsapp group so once the group is done then you join the google link uh the google meet punya link you and your friends and then you do your forum and then you are done and the next one until the end and we are going to conduct during seminar number five tapi ada flexibility kat sini because i have about 40 of you in this group so if i were to divide let's say six of you we'll get about uh roughly about seven groups lah, eh? seven groups uh consists of six or five people now what if seven group one group is given 20 minutes so that means we are left with 140 minutes, can? So do we have enough? Ke? Because I, 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 I was, our class starts at 2 o'clock. Or in this case, I will ask you to start the class at 1.30. So what will happen if, let's say, until 4 o'clock, there are a few groups yang tak siap? Don't worry. Kita akan continue. How can we continue? I let the group know, okay? If you're available on the same day at night, then we'll continue at night. So this arrangement will be made before the forum discussion. So that tak adalah you termangu je depan laptop on seminar number five waiting for your turn to be called. Tak ada. I will arrange once you dah ada group. So I need you to form the group first so that I can arrange the time. So if let's say we cannot manage to do two until four on uh, during seminar number five, maybe we will continue somewhere at night ke? Because seminar number five, seven of June, puasa dah habis ya. So don't worry about the berbuka puasa and all. Maybe right after Maghrib, we'll start. Okay, and then only the group that is involved sajalah. So you will be given or assigned to a specific time for you to do this forum, not to worry. So if that is not during your time, then you do not need to attend at all. Yeah, okay. Questions so far about the forum and also written article analysis? So article against headphones and handphones are the same. Okay, okay, let me check first. Nanti I'll get back to you. I'll check first, yeah? And I'll get back to you. Okay, so far so good. All right. If everything is, okay, so forum consists of six person per group for where it should be paired. Yes. That would be the summary. Okay. Pair or individual? Depends lah. 
I'm not sure so far, according to the list that I've printed out the other day when we first met, uh, according to this list, I have about 41 of you in this class. So if this, if the number of students, uh, they're still the same, that means someone has to do this on his or her own. Okay. Uh, so again, who wants to do this individually for the return assessment too? Um, it's a first come first serve basis lah. That's it. Someone that that cakap sir, I'm doing this alone. So yang lain tu akan buat with pairs lah. All right. But if let's say that is not the number, that means they'll that there's an addition to to the numbers of students in this class ataupun maybe some of you may have dropped this course uh you plan to do it uh, next semester or the following semester uh then if we have equal number then you know um everyone will be doing this pair lah. so far i have 40 of you joining this uh ni tapi 40 means that uh including me so minus me 39 sajalah yang join this to, to this uh meeting ni okay Forum pun sama, tapi minimum five, maximum six. Pandai-pandai lah you bahagi. Nanti I will create you the list so that nanti you can write down your names. Eh? You can use WhatsApp group, our WhatsApp group ke? Ataupun I don't know how lah. Okay, you have your own means of communication, contacting your friends. You dah tahu dah siapa you nak to for you to form the groups. Yeah, I know it's a bit hard because we're doing everything online. Duration of for forum, how long, sir? Sorry, can't hear clearly. Uh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes in and out yeah 20 minutes so what about the topic for forum discussion do we need to choose our topic or yes i will not give you the topic you will choose your own topics tapi kalau uh, written article analysis you cannot find your own article you have to choose the articles that i have uploaded but for forum discussion because forum discussion is like um the third assessment. So I guess by the third assessment, you already have uh, a general idea uh, on how to choose a critical topic for your discussion. You dah patut tahu lah. And I don't want to assign you. Takut nanti that is not um, your interest ataupun not your forte ke, not your, your, your expertise, then you don't want to do it, you know. So this is basically based on the agreement of your group members lah. Okay, but try to find topic but the topic has to be, of course, argumentative. Lah. I've mentioned that uh, dalam, even in the lecture, tutorial lecture, uh, tutorial video pun, I mentioned the topic has to be very argumentative. Yeah. Mm. Any other question? About the assessment? Loud and clear? Okay. But of course, if you have question or later when I I recap topic one until three, tiba-tiba you terfikir nak tanya soalan, then you just, you know, shoot the questions dekat kita in your chat box ni. I'll try to scroll, yeah. If I have missed your question before, let me know, all right? Okay, um, I'm not going to look um, thoroughly about the topic that I have presented just to let you know yeah what i have uploaded so far topic one topic two and topic three now topic one is about finding meaning okay now if you look at the question just now that i've shared with you about you know finding the meaning of this word uh, that bull face in the passage remember uh, so that the first topic is about that how to actually find the meaning of those words yeah so you listen to my lecture video you will understand but in general let me just it in summary so that i want everyone to understand the same thing here when the question asks you to find the meaning of the words they are not asking you to write down the long definition when you refer to the dictionary you realize that they will give you that definition correct and you feel that oh ni lah kot jawapan dia and then you salin long definition you do that you get zero automatically walaupun evidence you to betul okay uh, this is the part yang you get zero lah Another part that you get zero if you give the wrong, the wrong answer or the wrong word. Yeah. Now, although the question asks you what is the meaning of that word, actually, the intention of that question is to ask you what is another word that is best or has the same exact meaning with the one that is bullfaced. Faham tak? Okay. All right. I'm not going to I'm not going to show to you um I mean the, the slide lah you can refer the slide the slides are all available so I hope you can understand yeah or you can imagine 
this yeah uh try to to picture this when i explain to you okay tapi maybe i can uh share you the questions lah so that you can you nampak soalan tu okay then you understand better lah i think i've explained to you just now lah okay question ni je untuk topic number one tu ni je soalan dia so the word shuffling here okay so you go to line one line five tadi lah macam tadi saya cakap tu this is the word now although the question asks you kalau you notice the question says here the meaning of the word so this is the part that students feel that oh i have the dictionary with me i find the word okay this is the meaning and then i paste je lah i type je lah no no that is not the case it's not really that easy you know uh, of course you have to go through and uh, if you refer to my lecture videos there are a few steps that you need to you need to to, to do the first one is to identify the parts of speech kalau you tak tahu parts of speech tu, the category nama dalam tata bahasa bahasa Inggeris. We have nouns, pronouns, verbs, adjectives, about eight, seven or eight parts of speech. So which one that the word shuffling falls in? So kalau you tak tahu, then you just read the whole sentence dulu. A one-year-old girl sweeps her fingers across an iPad touch screen, shuffling groups of icons. Shuffling group of icons. Okay, so... It sounds like a verb, like an action. You're doing it. You're shuffling it. So this is a verb. So in your mind, the word that you want to find and to replace the word shuffling must also come from the same group. It has to be also a verb. And on top of that, this one at the ing at the end of it. So the verb to yang nak ganti pun must also consist of ing. Now, if you look at the answer given here, You see, dragging, other ing, and dragging itself is a verb. So, this is what we want. Just give one word sahaja. Okay, one word. But how to find this word? You have to follow the process, and you also must use the dictionary too to help you. And to know the process, you have to refer to my lecture video. Okay? But is it a requirement ke to follow the to the process, Mr. E? Because, uh, you know, sometimes I look at the word shuffling, I find from the dictionary, I dapat dah tahu dah, maybe the word is dragging. So I put dragging. I didn't go according to the process. Tak apalah if you don't want to go through the process. The process is just to help you out. But if you are good, you can already know the answer, then just write down the answer. But you must know. But, for example, other student cakap, the word here is shuffling. I put here uh, drag saja, not dragging. So you get zero. Rugi tak? Because I've already taught you, it has to be ing. Because the one you're replacing for the ing. So the verb must be added with ing. Uh, so that is why you need to refer to the notes. But then again, you know, that depends. Sometimes uh, the, the answer key will say that if students answer drag, accept with half mark. Uh, kalau ditulis macam tu, then you'll get half mark. I'll let you know. Uh, sorry, I, I won't let you know. That means you'll get that half mark lah. Okay, kalau tak ada, tak ada. You'll get zero. I have to follow according to what is stipulated or given to me dalam answer key. Eh? I cannot make changes. All right. Okay. So now you do you get about the first topic? So we are not asking you the long definition, yeah? Uh, finding meaning ni. We just want you to find another word. Also another case. Uh, some students like to put the word dragging and then another word uh, apa lagi, apa lagi. Banyaklah pilihan jawapan. No. You are to give only one answer sahaja. If you give... Various of answers, options, contohnya afterward dragging and a slash, ada lagi, ada lagi, ada lagi. I will take the first answer as your final answer. I'm not going to choose on your behalf, eh? Because you are the one to answer this question, not me. Now, when I want to mark, I also, I have to choose. Macam saya pula jawab test ni. So, it's you. So, you give only one answer sahaja. Uh, dengar bunyi ping tadi tu. Soalan kah? Okay, sir. All right, okay, sir. All right. Okay, so that is the first topic. Eh, sorry, the first topic lah, finding meaning. Second topic is to determine the topic of a passage or paragraph. Uh, that one also you have to refer to my lecture videos for you to understand. But sometimes the question can ask you like this lah. Okay, uh, ni yang contoh dia ni, soalan dia. What is the stated main idea? Ada. This is this this question, stated main idea falls under topic number two. And what is basically stated main idea? It means the same with topic sentence. But what is that? Refer to my lecture video. Eh? As I mentioned, today we are not here to lecture. Kalau tak nanti rugi saya buat lecture videos, you don't watch or you don't listen. Okay. Uh, this is also another type of question that falls under topic number two. And that is 
um, they ask you to identify what is the possible topic of certain paragraph. Uh, in this con in this context, they ask you to refer to this paragraph. Okay, paragraph uh, seven. So you have to refer to the paragraph seven, identify the topic. Uh, simple, very simple. Actually, the process is very simple if you know how to do it. Yeah, that's why you need to listen to my lecture videos. And on top of that, do some exercises. I will provide you with exercises. You do it and then uh, check with the answers. If you have questions, you ask me. Uh, otherwise, I assume that you're good to go. Lah. And the third topic, uh, major and minor details. Okay, major and minor ideas or major and minor details. Like in this case, they use this major supporting details, minor supporting details. Okay, uh, this the question falls under topic number three. What are they? Okay, I have explained in our lecture video, but it's very short and I fear that you may not understand although you have watched the video. So wait until I upload some supplementary videos and also notes from other sources in order to help your understanding. But basically, major supporting details, minor supporting details, they are all supporting details to support your main idea. Okay, but how to identify them? Uh, how to know which one is major, which one is minor? You have to refer to my, my notes, okay? And lecture videos there are also other questions that ask about this uh, major and minor if i'm not mistaken let me just uh, find eh, kalau ada kat sini. Uh, ah, this is also part of major and minor ideas type of support and what is the example type of support and what is the example okay uh, there the tulis kat sini. Uh, this is so under major and minor ideas yeah uh, this is also under major and minor ideas juga all right Type of support, what is what is the type of support for this paragraph? Ada. Okay. So, few questions that falls under topic number three. Yeah? So, topic number three, too, you really have to master lah, major and minor ideas. So, this is just to recap. But if you have not watched the lecture video, not to worry. Watch the lecture video first, then you can watch this video. Kita punya online video, nanti I upload on YouTube. And then, I hope you get the better understanding. Yeah. Question so far. I'm done with uh, recapping the chapters. Any questions so far? Okay, no questions. So just to recap, uh, number one, after today, start to find your partner. Keep it to yourself first. Nanti later when I create the list, you update your name, your partner's name, and the uh, articles that you have chosen. Alright, bila pilih articles tu pula, pilih articles, uh, jangan pilih satu, pilih dua atau tiga. Uh, as orang kata KIV dulu. Because when I create the list, maybe kawan you lagi laju, dia dah update, dia dah pilih article tu, you nak pilih, hmm, tak dapat pula. Then you have to choose another one and another one. Okay, so again, bear in mind, no pair can be uh, uh, analyzing the same article. So one article only for one pair sahaja, alright. Uh, there, are, I have enough articles, don't worry. Enough article for everyone. Okay, that is number one. Starting from today, double start. And also starting from today, start to search for uh, group members for your forum discussion. And you double brainstorm that. What is the topic that you want to do, so on and so forth. Major and minor explanation. Is it the answer in the lecture notes, sir? Uh, answer for this question, ke? Adriana. If you are talk, you are referring to this sample question. The answer is here. Uh, the answer is here. Young lecture notes. Lecture notes are to explain what are major ideas and minor ideas. Okay, what are major ideas and minor ideas? So you refer to my lecture notes for you to understand the concept major ideas, minor ideas. To lecture. Yang ni ini dia punya test dia. This is the test. Question will be on major ideas. So a few questions about some major ideas. I've showed to you just now, Ken. Few questions on major ideas. Eh, so sorry. Few questions on major and minor. So ada banyak soalan yang berkenaan topik number three. Okay. Uh, all right. That one is topic three, Ken. Yes. I hope that one means that the one that I'm showing now, lah, eh, Amira. Yes. If that is yes, that is the under topic three, major and minor. Okay. And so far, uh, kalau uh, lecture videos, I've uploaded um, um, until major and minor. All right. I've uploaded major and minor. There will be more videos coming in. Don't worry. 
from time to time there will be videos more videos i don't want to overwhelm with all videos nanti kang you tak tahu which is which betul tak so it will be done accordingly but the videos on my youtube will be lagi lagi awal compared to the one that i upload on um i discuss okay uh, because i discuss i have to go accordingly to the weeks otherwise nanti sekarang ada weeks tak ada post uh, dia tak nak macam tu dia nak every week dia ma- and in order for you, for me to upload new new topic for every week tu i cannot upload at once macam tu walaupun I, they have different columns the i discuss tu tak boleh at once sebab they will consider everything is uploaded on the same date ah uh, sebab dia ada time yang kita kena ikut uh, that is the reason why lah i discuss will be a bit late Okay, but if you are the kind of person yang memang slow and steady, you tak nak rush, you go according to I discuss tu lah. InsyaAllah boleh. Sempat je. Because if you see here, eh, let me show you this one yang I have planned tu. We are going to complete every topic by this date, 18 sampai 24 of me. Okay, and then kita ada about like a week macam tu cuti hari raya. And then baru kita buat test. Even test kita buat pun not on the first tapi on the seventh. Nampak tak? Still, you have like a week or six days before seven to for you to do your test. So, you still have enough time for you to go through all. Alright? If you are the kind of person. Tapi ada yang jenis tak nak tunggu, they want to continue belajar-belajar lecture, then you refer to my lecture videos available on YouTube. So, we already choose our pair group together with the topic in the WhatsApp group. Already? Sebelum ni eh, ke ba- Oh, okay. All right. Okay, that's that's a good initiative if you have done this. But it just that set up, uh, I hope that, um, I hope that macam contohnya, uh, ni ada post tapi sampai 13 je, kenapa eh? Change lah. Tak bergerak je 13 tapi ada 3 post pasal 13. All right. Oh, sorry, 3 post sampai 13 tapi tak bergerak tertin tu saya takut nanti you post all at once while your friend is typing you pun is typing so update ta, ta, oh tak cukup artikel yes yes artikel memang tak cukup lagi lah that one you have to wait malam ni baru saya boleh because i guess tonight tak the, the the traffic is not that congested but you can upload uh, you can already uh, that's why i said uh, tapi you dah buat sini tak apa lah okey je saya tak marah pun okay um, but it's just that uh, you still have to wait for the articles to be uploaded also. But it's just that uh, kalau you upload nama saja without the article, but it stays until 13. Okay, it stays until 13. So, tapi ada three posts. What I fear is um, you may have posted at the same time. Do you, do you know? Tapi tak apa, it's okay, you can do this. But nanti the one yang I discuss tu is the official one. Okay, this one maybe you nak chop a pic to dulu lah. Alright, uh, if you want to chop topic dulu, it's that, that's okay. Topic of the articles, yeah. Tapi um, nanti dekat I discuss, nanti you upload. Lagi like sekali. I, I discuss tu, uh, that is uh, yang formal part of it. Okay, I discuss tu. Alright. Official ke I discuss, yes. Official ke I discuss. This one you can still do it. Okay, but I don't fancy this. Sebab apa tau, takut nanti you tengah type, kawan you pun tengah type. Kan takes time for you to type the article apa. And then you post, lepas tu ada yang list dia tak berapa nak update. Kalau kat I discuss tu, once you dah post tu, dah nampak lah eh. Okay. But once you have already uploaded everything, uh, that chose the topic apa, I will go through once again. And kalau I find um, one pair or two pairs may have chose the same topic, saya akan tengok which one that comes first. So let's say the first pair to actually am posted dulu. So the second pair tu, I will notify you to change to another topic or to change to the new article. Uh, okay. Alright, so don't worry. Dan jangan risau. Don't all articles that I uploaded, dia punya orang kata susahnya, senangnya, dia more or less the same. Don't worry. They are more or less the same. Okay, tak ada satu senang, dua susah, tak ada. Don't worry on that part. Mr. E, I discussed too, Mr. E buka lagi platform untuk kami upload untuk artikel ini kan? Yes. Saya dah upload tadi halfway through my dear, tapi congested. I have all articles. Jangan risau. Sekarang ni yang ada dekat I discuss tu, if you notice, dekat sini kan. Okay, I click back ah. Tu nak click back pun takes a while. Ni artikel saya ni. Hmm. You can still see this kan. Uh, so forum discussion, eh sorry, artikel-artikel analysis. You see artikel saya sampai 24. 
24 if we times 2 is 48 48 students we i have about 40 je you 40 or 41 je so more than enough jangan risau cuma yang ke articles ni baru sampai 13 ke 14 macam tu it's very slow very slow okay and uh, that is the reason why so nak upload article in class dalam pukul berapa ya tu tadi saya dah cakap um, insyaallah malam kalau tak sempat hari ni besok pagi because yesterday and today Memang congested iClass because a lot of lecturers are using iClass. Saya tak pakai iClass sangat. Saya pakai ni lah Google Meet. Ada lecturers tak gerti, dia pakai iClass je. Saya tak tahu macam mana dia pakai iClass tu. Okay, so sir nak upload. Sir, did you upload exercise for test tak? Exercise for each topic, not for test. Test kita ada sample sahaja. Uh, each topic ada exercise. No, belum upload lagi. Ah, Cerita dia tu. Saya kata tadi traffic congested. Uh, so, semua will be done. InsyaAllah by today, tonight. Kalau tak sempat, besok pagi saya akan buat. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Kalau tak sempat hari ni, besok pun saya akan upload. Alright. Tapi tak adalah saya tunggu seminggu baru nak upload. Tak ada. Either today or tomorrow. Alright. My internet connection so far is okay. Tapi it's because of the traffic of iClass ni. iClass is very congested. Now, at the moment. Mungkin lepas pukul 6 lebih tu dah takut. Sebab no class kan. Sample test, yes. Semua saya upload. Jangan risau. Tak ada satu pun saya tak upload. Everything I have with me, I share with my students. Uh, you guna je. You go through sahaja. Okay? Uh, sama ada you nak guna atau tak tu je. I will never save for, tak naklah simpanlah sikit-sikit biar budak tak tahu. Tak ada apa-apa. Even tadi pun saya cakap, let's say I dengar lah desas-desu. So, orang cakap, inilah topik yang akan keluar. Boleh percaya ke? Boleh percayalah sumber-sumber tu. I'll share with you. Untung batu tim, uh, tenggelam, untung sabut timbul, kan? Uh, rezeki you lah kalau betul topik tu yang keluar. Tapi, if you are expecting me to look at the question first and then let you know what will come up, that is wrong. That is unethical. Tapi, kot-kot lah, you know, friends of mine, they're very generous. They kata, I will, and normally I'll ask, I'll ask the resource person, may I know what are the topics tak? But I don't want to trouble my students to to to, to, to really read all the topics, you know? Maybe you can give us some, some hints. Kalau resource person very generous, let me know the topics, I'll inform you. Just focus on those topics. Uh, kita guna saluran yang betul lah. Alright? Tapi kalau tak ada, tak ada lah. Uh, janganlah mengharap sangat. Uh, your job is still to uh, learn all those topics, yeah? Uh, walaupun I know, I do understand, you know, because of PKP, online classes, you know, kadang-kadang a lot of assignments, a lot of assessments, sometimes because of this um, kekangan lah, eh? uh, because of online, maybe you the way you understand certain topics may not be the same online and face to face so i'm trying to ease you out to help you out if i can get what are the topics and i'll inform you so that you just focus on that topics tapi don't disregard then topic lain baca juga tapi more focus on the topics that i've assigned i ask you to focus on yeah okay don't worry everything that i have with me i'll upload you'll get everything i will not keep anything away from you You'll get whatever. If let's say there'll be more question samples given by the resource person, I'll share. But the only problem now is iClass is very congested. In fact, I tried to upload yesterday because weekdays on Monday and and until Friday, although I work from home, but I still have to work because saya pegang jawatan and there are a lot of things. Sometimes I have to attend webinar. I have to conduct a webinar. So banyaklah. So sometimes saya memang terlepas pandang. So the only time that I'm quite available and free is during weekends or at night. So sometimes, uh, ni sebab bulan puasa, every night is, the routine is doing terawih. So, dia dah terlepas lah kat situ. So, weekend saja. Tapi unfortunately, weekend yang ada seminars, memang iKelas ni congested. Okay. Tapi, insyaAllah by tonight, should not be a problem sebab dah tak ada lecturer dah pakai-pakai benda ni waktu malam. I'll try to upload one by one. Once everything is available, I'll write a, just a small uh, post dekat kita ni WhatsApp group to let you know everything is there. Don't worry. Okay, don't worry on that part. Tapi now you can start doing. It's good that you dah buat list semua tu. Alright. Uh, so you're getting on on completing your assessments, yeah. So, any questions so far? Because I have another class at 4. So, no questions. Kalau if let's say after today you still have questions, please ask dalam WhatsApp group. I don't want you to ask me personally. Not that I don't like you ke apa ke, tak ada. It's good that you ask in the WhatsApp group. Kalau I respond, then everyone will get the clarification or the answer. 
But if you ask me personally, then it's just between me and you. Kesianlah kan kawan you yang lain. Maybe they have questions but they're so afraid to ask her, kan? Also, um, but if you ask me personally, I still respond to you. But if you ask in the group, if I don't respond, please remind me. Okay? Please remind me. So, any questions so far before I, I end to this meeting? I was expecting for an hour je. Ni pun dah nak angkat sampai pukul 4, ya. 2 jam juga, eh. Okay. All right. So no question. I guess it's good to go. You're good to go. You already faham how we are going to conduct ELC 501 for this semester. Um, okay. Uh, be patient uh, with whatever that is going on with us right now with the COVID-19, uh, the PKP, and now the government is implementing PKP. PB, bersyarat pula, some of you will be required to go back to work. You know, be very patient. Um, also, take some precautions here. Yeah? Uh, so, uh, practice social distancing, you know, wear mask all the time, all right? And also, maybe this is not mentioned, but if let's say you are the kind of person that go out uh, and meet people all the time, uh, when you go back home, straight away pergi mandi, bersihkan, sanitizekan diri you ke apa ke, to avoid the spread of the germs or the virus among your family members and whatnot. Yeah? And most importantly, banyakkan berdoa, we leave everything in the hand of the God, okay, in the hand of Allah because uh, segala penyakit, segala apa semua datang dari dia dan dia juga yang memberi penyembuh. Don't worry, yeah. we'll just doa hopefully that, you know, um, hopefully uh, everything will get better inshallah. But this will take time. So be really patient, okay, banyakkan berdoa, all right. So I wish all the best and good luck for this semester uh, with whatever um, predicament that we are going to face online learning lah with the internet connection is very very slow lah all to semua tu I hope that we can go through together okay like what uh, Asia say lah we are in this together all right tapi saya tak charge you extra ni lah untuk extra baggage luggage kapu tak ada Asia ya all right so we are in this together don't worry all right um apa apa you ask me you let me know if you have problems ke apa ke just let me know I'm open to 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 I'm not I'm, I'm not saying that I'm going to solve your problem but I'm open to listen to your problem and maybe help you out in any ways all right so So I guess that is all for today. Thank you so much for your commitment. Thank you so much for joining this um, seminar. I thank for your attendance as well, for your presence. And um, selamat berbuka. I, I guess it's never too late for me to wish you happy Ramadan Karim, yeah? And also selamat berbuka. Uh, okay, so hope to see you perhaps uh, in two weeks' time for our seminar number three, yeah? So I guess that is all. Thank you so much. Thank you. You can leave this uh, group, all right? That's all. Thank you so much. Assalamualaikum.